the Honourable uh, Cabinet Ministers, FBC Board Members, ladies and gentlemen, Bula Minaka. Bula Minaka and a very good evening to you all. Your Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here tonight to celebrate the anniversary of the FBC. 65 years from the inception of your radio broadcast and eight years, uh, eight years on from your foray into television. And I should add, only a few minutes removed from your historic rebrand as the Fiji, Fijian uh, Broadcasting Corporation. From that moment in 1954, 1954 was a very good year. Uh, my family tells me so. When the beating lally drums signaled the start of your first radio broadcast, the FBC has been guiding our voice through great moments of history. From the birth of our independent nation to the first deployment of Fijian peacekeepers, to the ethnically charged upheavals that have marred our politics, all the way through the launch of our Fijian constitution and the triumphant emergence of our present day democracy. From generation defining events to the smaller sagas that make up the day to day life of our people, the FBC has been there, telling our stories and writing the first draft of Fijian history. Whether it's announcing uh, birthdays, sharing obituaries, uh, busting hoaxes, or speaking to the life changing benefits of development. 65 years on from its inception, the FBC is more than a public broadcaster. It is a pillar of our democracy and of the discourse between our citizens. But I don't want to spend tonight gilding the past. Needs to be painted over the lessons in, our, in your history. Let's not forget, before your current management took up the reins, it didn't appear likely the FBC would ever reach the Sapphire anniversary. Throughout the 19s and the early 2000s, Fiji TV was eating your breakfast, lunch and dinner as they ran a virtual monopoly of television coverage. Meanwhile, the FBC, our national broadcaster, was flirting with uh, insolvency. In the eyes of many, profitability was a pipe dream. Ten years ago, we summoned the political will to propel our nation broadcaster into the 21st century. Since that time, the leadership of your CEO, Riyad Syed Kayom, has brought the prudent financial management and competitive industry expertise to bring the FBC to the forefront of Fijian news and entertainment. You were, late, uh, you were a late mover to the television market, but you found your legs. And in uh, short, uh, eight short years, your market uh, position has surged to the front of the pack. FBC News is far in a way our uh, far and away our people's preferred news channel and Bula FM ranks as Fiji's most popular radio station. But what is most remarkable is that you've seized uh, market dominance not by irresponsibly leaning on sensualism or playing to the base instincts of viewers and listeners but by leading our national conversation in a positive and inclusive direction. When viewers tune into FBC they know that they can count on content that gives them a new lens to a timely topic that build national bridges across communities, provinces, and different backgrounds. And that inspires a profound sense of patriotism. You cover the real issues that will dictate Fiji's future success and the well-being of coming generations. Financial inclusion, resilient development, Fijian ingenuity, uh, and business savvy and our leadership abroad to bring Fiji's interests and ideas to the global decision-making table. And you do so well in all three languages that, uh, that, uh, so that no Fijian anywhere in our country ever feels left behind. Like uh, any national broadcaster, you have a contract with government to run public service broadcasting on radio and television, including the operation of FBC2, a non-commercial channel. In total, that contract amounts to $11 million a year. But the value of your programming, when you consider the cost of energy transmission, manpower, program acquisition and delivery, and infrastructure development is far higher 
amounting to over $28 million annually. Despite that $17 million gap, despite that $17 million dollar gap, FBC is earning profits and growing their operations. Unlike other nations public broadcasters, your government contract isn't a crunch. It's only a piece of the revenue streams that you've uh, been savvy enough to forge in a seriously competitive industry. Like any company uh, entering an, uh, an established market, you ran at a loss in the first few years. But as the CEOs of Amazon, FedEx and Tesla can all attest, strategic short-term losses can pave the way to long-term market security and financial sustainability. And the FBC has been a case study in implementing the future-focused strategy of growth before profits. Even when fighting your way into television and into the hearts and minds of viewers, you've never defaulted on a single loan repayment. In fact, you've overpaid some of your installments. You're the first government commercial company to complete the audit of your 2018 financial statements. And you've steadily supported investments to grow your capacities and capabilities, not only on the technical side, but in developing the creative programming that keeps your content fresh and draws in record audiences. As your leadership knows, the real measures of success in this business are advertising dollars. And you're the only broadcaster in Fiji that has shown the adaptability to maintain sustainability rates for advertising slots. And you've achieved that while maintaining the $800,000 worth of advertising you annually afford charitable organizations. But the thing about taking the lead in any industry is that you give your competition every reason to paint the target on your back. The staff of the FBC aren't strangers to the misinformation and mudslinging that comes with success. And don't ever let uh, detractors uh, diminish the nobility of the role you perform. You provide a free source of engaging education to our citizens. The narratives you craft shape a nation's consciousness. Your creativity puts smiles on people's faces. And your commitment to inclusivity forges understanding between our people and underpins the unity Fijians know today. But tonight is, is not only about your journey so far. In welcoming six and a half years, decades of the FBC, it's incumbent on each of us to consider what this company will be celebrating 10, 20, or even 65 years uh, on from now. In the digital era, the wheel of progress in your industry is spinning at a breath, uh, break uh, neck pace. My children are getting all their news from radio and television. My grandchildren certainly are not. They're growing up in a world where content comes entirely from their mobile phones, from uh, podcasts, messaging platforms, and of course, social media. I'm on Facebook. Anyone who has uh, wasted too many minutes, minutes on that site can attest the content is sharp, personalized, and above all else, consumable. Whether they are photos, uh, videos, or even memes or GIFs, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, the moments that catch fire across social media can single-handedly shift the nation's thinking overnight, for good or for ill. Your programming on the Wallace platform your flash new website and your growing range of Fijian programming are promising signs of your embrace of the changing times. FBC's content is broadcasting through the over 130,000 Wallace set-top boxes across the country. And on mobile phones, the Wallace app, which now carries complete Facebook integration, has received over 326,000 downloads. Soon, I'm told, FBC's radio channels will also hit the Wallace platform. By wielding these new digital tools, FBC is leading in the new era of news and entertainment. You must press that advantage by keeping up the innovation because our fast-moving digital landscape badly needs champions for truth, for unity, 
and for the greater national interest. And in that regard, I know the young staff of the FBC are bringing their ideas and perspectives to the table. That must continue. I encourage each of them to speak out and speak often about where they feel the FBC can be most impactful in the digital age. The FBC's journey over the past 65 years, in many ways, mirrors the journey of our now independent nation, particularly given how pivotal the past decade has been for your progress. And like your country, the FBC can look forward to a future filled with new and better opportunities. I've always loved your I Am segment, especially the moment when children have the chance to tell their nation why they are proud to be Fijian. Tonight, the FBC, as well as can uh, be proud to, be, to be take full claim of its Fijian identity. And I congratulate the newly renamed Fijian Broadcasting Corporation on your 65th anniversary and wish you every success in the years and decades to come. Thank you and God bless you all.